Good morning, it's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. I'm out here in the back at Paul's Photo this morning. I just got here. And when I rolled up, this bush was full of bees. So I grabbed my Nikon Z7 II with the 70 to 200 millimeter lens. I put the 1.4 extender on, which gives me a 280 millimeter telephoto. Exactly what I want to reach out and get into the flowers to capture the bees landing on them. Now, I've been standing here for five minutes and there's no more bees. They've all left. I don't know whether I scared them away or they got called out for breakfast. I, I don't know, but now I'm set to photograph just the bush, these beautiful pink and yellow flowers. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take the 70 to 200 millimeter lens and I'm going to isolate. I'm going to find one small flower. I'm going to set up on it. I'm going to make a beautiful image of that flower. And then hopefully, once I get it all set up, a bee will come back to me and I'll be able to get his picture on the flower. Because that's the way you photograph insects. You watch where they go, they, they really are, they, they have a habit of, or a, a circuit that they fly, and then you capture it, you wait for them to come to you. So, you can see I'm looking through, I've got it all framed up, I'm in manual mode, F8, one twenty-five hundredth of a second, with an ISO of 1600, that's what I would need to capture the bees. And this is a beautiful image. I really like this image. I think you guys are going to like it too. Now, since I don't have any bees in it, I can go to Aperture Priority now. Set the ISO to 400. And that's going to be giving me a shutter speed of a 400th of a second, which would be great for this flower picture. Not so great for a bee. Why not great for a bee? Because it's not going to stop the action. It's not going to get the bee flying in and out of the photo. So you need a faster shutter speed for that. So here we go. It's beautiful. Oops, I need to dial in a minus two-thirds exposure compensation. Look at that. It's a beautiful image. Now a couple of you are going to ask me, why don't I use a macro lens for the flower and the bees? because I want to be farther away. I love the look and I love the feel of using the 280 millimeter lens, the 70 to 200 with the 1.4 extender, so that I'm five or six feet away from the subject. I think it looks better and it gives me more options. And if the bees were gonna come, I wouldn't disturb them. Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. I hope you guys have fun and make a great